In the ethereal realm of Irish mythology, where the veil between the living and the departed blurred, there existed a formidable deity known as Don, the enigmatic god of the dead. His dominion extended over the shadowy underworld, where the spirits of the deceased dwelled. Don's origins were shrouded in mystery, his existence predating the arrival of the Tuatha de Dan An, the divine race that ruled Ireland in ancient times. He was said to have emerged from the primordial darkness, a solitary figure cloaked in an aura of both awe and dread. As the god of the dead, Don possessed immense power over the souls of the departed. He presided over the transition from life to death, guiding the spirits through the treacherous journey to the underworld. His presence was both comforting and terrifying, for he held the keys to the realm of the dead and could grant or deny passage. In Irish folklore, Don was often depicted as a tall, imposing figure with piercing eyes that seemed to penetrate the very depths of one's soul. His skin was pale and cold, and his long, flowing hair cascaded over his shoulders like a silken shroud. He carried a staff adorned with intricate carvings, which he used to summon the spirits of the dead. Don's realm, known as the Sidhi, was a hidden world that existed alongside the mortal realm. It was a place of both beauty and terror, where the spirits of the departed dwelled in ethereal forms. The Sidhi was said to be accessible through certain portals, such as ancient burial mounds or standing stones. The ancient Irish held a deep reverence for Don and the spirits of their ancestors. They believed that the dead continued to exist in the Sidhi, watching over their living descendants. Ancestor worship was an integral part of Irish culture, and offerings were made to Don and the departed to ensure their favor and protection. One of the most important rituals associated with Don was the Feast of Samhain, which marked the transition from summer to winter. On this night, the veil between the living and the dead was said to be at its thinnest, allowing the spirits of the departed to return to the mortal realm. During the Feast of Samhain, the ancient Irish would gather around bonfires and tell stories of Don and the dead. They would also leave offerings of food and drink for their ancestors, believing that these offerings would sustain them in the city. Don's influence extended beyond the realm of the dead. He was also associated with the natural world, particularly the forests and mountains. In some legends, he was said to be the guardian of the sacred groves, where the spirits of the trees and animals dwelled. As Christianity spread throughout Ireland, Don's role in Irish mythology gradually diminished. However, his legacy continued to live on in folklore and tradition. He became known as the Lord of the Dead or the King of the Fairies, and his image was often associated with the supernatural and the unknown. To this day, Don remains a powerful and enigmatic figure in Irish mythology. He is a reminder of the ancient Irish belief in the afterlife and the importance of honoring one's ancestors. His presence continues to linger in the shadows, a testament to the enduring power of the dead and the mysteries that lie beyond the veil.